Are you gravely ill? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is Father Ankel from the Mission of San Andrew in Tijuana, Diocese of Mexico of the Orthodox Church in America. Welcome to the Gospel for February the 4th, 2020, according to St. Mark. When Jesus had crossed again in the boat to the other side, a large crowd gathered around him, and he stayed close to the sea. One of the synagogue officials, named Jairus, came forward, Seeing him, he fell at his feet and pleaded earnestly with him, saying, My daughter is at the point of death. Please come lay your hands on her, that she may get well and live. He went off with him, and a large crowd followed him. There was a woman afflicted with hemorrhages for twelve years. She had suffered greatly at the hands of many doctors, and had spent all that she had. Yet she was not helped, but only grew worse. She had heard about Jesus and came up behind him in the crowd and touched his cloak. She said, If I but touch his clothes, I shall be cured. Immediately her flow of blood dried up. She felt in her body that she was healed of her affliction. Jesus, aware at once that power had gone out from him, turned around in the crowd and asked, Who has touched my clothes? With his disciples said to him, You see how the crowd is pressing on you. And yet you ask, who touched me? And he looked around to see who had done it. The woman, realizing what had happened to her, approached in fear and trembling. She fell down before Jesus and told him the whole truth. He said to her, Daughter, your faith has saved you. Go in peace and be cured of your affliction. While he was still speaking, people from the synagogue official's house arrived and said, Your daughter has died. Why trouble the teacher any longer? Disregarding the message that was reported, Jesus said to the synagogue official, Do not be afraid, just have faith. He did not allow anyone to accompany him inside except Peter, James, and John, the brother of James. When they arrived at the house of the synagogue official, he caught sight of a commotion, people weeping and wailing loudly. So he went in and said to them, Why this commotion and weeping? The child is not dead but asleep. And they ridiculed him. Then he put them all out. He took along the child's father and mother and those who were with him and entered the room where the child was. He took the child by the hand and said to her, Talitha kum, which means, little girl, I say to you, arise. The girl, a child of twelve, arose immediately and walked around. At that they were utterly astounded. He gave strict orders that no one should know this and said that she should be given something to eat. Glory be to thee, O God, glory be to thee. Something to eat so that they would know that she was really alive. Do you have or are you gravely ill or sick? Touch Jesus. Why are you going to touch them today? You can even laugh at me and say, Well, Father, now you just went nuts. No, I'm not. There are three different ways of touching or being touched by the Lord that you could do today. The very first one, especially if you are ill, provided that you are granted what I'm going to say. The very first one, if you are ill, is to have a priest come to you or to your ill one and confess you. We usually, when we confess, we put our epitrachilia on the top of the head and then we pray the absolution prayer where Christ himself would, would absolve you, will forgive you all your sins. That is the very first thing to do if you are ill. The second thing has to do much about that again. As um, I believe it's an, um, the Apostle uh, James, I think it is, that wrote, according to Scripture, that if you are ill or have somebody ill, call the priests, the elders, so that they would impose their hands on the sick person and annoy him with all. When we are besting, we put on cuffs, and while we are praying, we reckon that our hands, fully bested, are not our hands anymore, but we are the slaves of the Lord. So, in that regard, if we touch you in the name of the Lord, it's just it's the Christ who is touching you to heal you. 
if you have faith and are faithful. And finally, the third way to be able to touch the Lord is not only touching but receiving Him within yourself. And that is to receive Holy Communion in the Holy Body and Blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. If you are sick, you can call us and we will go to your house. If you have a sick person, very sick, I would go to your house or somebody else will go to your house. Whoever is near to you will go to your house, confess you, anoint you, impose our hands on you, and then give you Holy Communion. There are two different ways of dying. Today the Lord is reminding us that He is the Lord of health and life. And like I said, there are two different ways of dying. The first one is when this body gets to sleep. And it doesn't matter if we're the children, a little child, or if we're an elderly people, our bodies will come to a sleeping time. But that is not death eternal. Death eternal will happen on the final judgment day, when we all will be brought up before the Lord and He will tell us, you go to the right, you go to the left. To the left is going to be condemned forever in hell. To the right, you're going into, we are going, God granting us into heaven. Think about it and pray. For blessed is our God, always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen.